Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Play Some Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo console. Here we are in the uh, little area below leading up to the wreck ship. Uh, we are just a... Uh, we we're just a hair's breadth away from death. Um, we just finished up all the different little shit in the wreck ship and now we're going to be heading on to Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and save one up. Accidents do happen. Uh, we're going to be heading on to Meridia. There's two different ways in. But uh, this one I'm going to be showing just for fun. It's kind of like... It's kind of like a long worthless area. Because um, there's like pretty much nothing in it. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, I, I've got a reserve tank, so hopefully I don't have to use that shit. Uh, how much of a reserve tank? Just one? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. No, it shouldn't be. This is a piece of cake. What the hell am I talking about? It's gonna be interesting. Give me a break. Where do I jump up? Up here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Now, how in the hell? Jump? Okay, well. Not like that, you don't, you silly. You silly fuck. Wait for them to drop down a little bit so that you. so that you, uh. have a chance to jump up without hitting your head on the ceiling. And now we have the E tank. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. That's. that's what we like. That is not what we like. We do not like landing on spikes. But. We're just plum chock full of health now, so not like it's any kind of big deal. So carrying on into Meridia. See here's where the worthlessness starts. There's not any expansions, there's not any there's I mean there's just it's just I mean it's not not bad architecture by any means, you know, it's kind of interesting the way that they put everything together, but it's just like, it's, uh, you know. So I guess it's not totally worthless in the fact that if, uh, you know, if you enjoy the scenery, by golly, then enjoy it. And these... If you should need to, or you know, always a good thing to uh, use to fill up on stuff. But we're doing pretty good right now. Now this is like what I would think would be the ultimate little hiding spot for for missile packs and whatever the hell else you could possibly imagine want to want to put in here. But you know, for some reason, they did not put a single thing in, and I wonder. I wonder sometimes, like, how many hours have been wasted on people looking through all these little wormholes that didn't know any better. Like, if you didn't have, like, the, like, even if, even if you did have the, the scope, um, just spending all your time, like, searching around for for what may, you know, possibly be there. Um, come on, where the hell? <laughs> Can't even remember where the hell the fucking thing is. But yeah, like searching. Searching for missile packs and stuff. Because, I mean, I know I did when I first played this game. I was searching all over the place. I was just like, it's like, dude, there's got to be something in here. Look at all these little perfect hiding spots. Speaking of perfect hiding spots, I, for, I always 
forget which one where to go to get on to the next area. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Maynard? Don't tell me it's the easiest, most obvious. That. I thought I tried that spot. No, no. <laughs> guess it didn't. Should have just gone totally nuts with the power bombs, and uh, that usually solves it. That that solves everything. Power bombs, just like this. Blam. Drop. Well, elevator, we all know what that means. Getting low, actually. I need to re need to recharge my uh my energy cup here. <sighs> Down below, watch out. So you'll find them ready uh, it's just kinda like it has a few different little little you know kind of atmospheric shits going on. This uh, this little thing here where you drop down below is like by far the easiest way to transverse this little area because it's like otherwise it's all jumping and shooting and, and this is not jump and shoot man so hey oh 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 you fuck you dirty duck you dirty duck fuck all right, hey, that door to the right, we will come out of later. <laughs> but in the meantime, that really didn't set us back because we just gonna end up in here in the same place, same place anyway. So we'll just kind of skip over this area. It's just a big old room. That's kind of one thing that Meridia is famous for: is it's big old god dang huge ass rooms it's just a big area in general but it's cool it's a neato area way neato and we're gonna enjoy it to the fullest so uh uh let's see here what the fuck man I'm pretty good at losing my train of thought okay oh my god 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 okay Yeah. Yep. This is. Oh, don't, don't. This is one of the. One of the famous little bastard ass areas of probably my, my all time least favorite Metroid area. This little sand. Sand shit. Trying to jump in this sand is like there's a little trick to it uh, you know to me uh, I'm just gonna call it completely random because it pisses me off but basically you can there we go that didn't really take too long at all you can uh, you know like it, uh, you know, you can make it up out of it, but, you know, sometimes you get stuck. And it seems like everything you try, you can't get out of that sand. It just keeps on dragging you down. And, uh, well, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. You just got to keep on jumping out of there. What's frustrating, this little, this little minor guy, he'll hurt you, but he won't, like, purposely do it. It just will if you get in his way, so... Just gotta clear this wall out and wait for him to dig with his little digging ass self. Um. Yeah. That old sand trap, man. You just gotta keep on going. I guess something to do with like, like jump twice, turn left, and then jump again, or some, some some funky business but it's like I nah, I don't know I just I just I just smashed that jump button like crazy and then eventually end up jumping out of there so anyway 
This can seem to take forever sometimes, but it's worth the wait, believe me. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Allow me to kill you now. This fucking thing. <laughs> Get him away. Those little snails remind me of uh, Mutant League. I don't know if anybody remembers the old Mutant League uh, soccer or soccer, Mutant League soccer, what the hell, maybe there was Mutant League soccer, I don't know, there's Mutant League hockey, Mutant League football, and uh, in all those ones, Bones Jackson was always the, was always the big time hotshot. <laughs> oh man, I haven't played them games in probably, shoot, it's been probably, uh, let me see, probably at least about 17 years or so since the last time I played a Mutant League game, gee, it's been a while. Anywho, now we have the spring ball, which is just badass as all get out. We just jump around. And, uh, boing, boing, yeah. Jump around. Who sang that? I don't know, and I don't really care. Because I'm not in hip hop. But it's cool. Now we have the spring ball, which makes certain areas a lot more easy. Uh, freeze yourself. See, sometimes you just, you know. <laughs> Wall jump off of the. Oh, come on. Freeze you. Sometimes they let go, sometimes they don't want to let go. But, either way, here we go. On down to the second area. I know, it's so annoying. There's two areas side by side, just like the same. There we go. Oh, oh you fuck. You fucking fuck. Just get, get, get. Jump. There. Boing. That sand, man. That's that rain and sand. Oh, it's the Dickens. Oh, hey, there's the little orange guys. Kill them with one shot with the uh, grappling beam. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <coughs> if we'd continued on to our left, we'd find out that. Uh, there's like, you know, one of those old green doors that you can't really make it through. Uh, you know, like with the little dropping barricade, and you gotta shoot it with a super missile, but you gotta do it from the other side, so... Uh, you gotta find a way around to the back side of that door. Okay, fine then. <laughs> I won't. So... Yeah. Now, you may recognize the music from this area. And you're about to recognize a whole lot more than the music. Because, prepare to cue one of the most awesome cutscenes in history. Wait, no. Not in history, but it is like it's pretty sweet. It's 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 got one of my 